what we got going on today here. We got some homemade redneck body armor. And uh, it's me and my buddy John. We're gonna, we were trying to come up with some homemade body armor just for fun. And when he, I'm only gonna try some pistols today. Just brought out some handguns just to try it. Uh, it was funny because I was working on it and then Demolition Ranch, he, he just had a video out today with homemade body armor. But this, I'm pretty excited because I actually, I think it's gonna work pretty good. I'll show you what I got going on here. Let me uh, just flip you guys around. It is it actually, it's just, it's mining belt. And this is just a rough cut. And then inside is some sheets of metal. It's uh, the metal from our propane tanks that we used in other videos. It's pretty interesting metal because it's, it's kind of hard. But I know it's really flexible though. Because I'll try maybe put some pictures in here. Uh like when the seismic slugs hit it i mean it dented like seriously an inch in without tearing the metal and it just one sheet will stop a nine millimeter and it's pretty light uh so i have three sheets of that and then one two three four sheets of uh mining belt so i mean i literally just threw this together threw a couple bolts in but with a mining belt in this metal you could actually cut it into the shape of uh, a plate for your plate carrier like if you actually absolutely needed to. That's kind of what I want to test out to see. Uh, what, I'll show you what guns we brought. <clears throat> I brought. It's out here. Doing a little four wound. She's a little a little muddy. I was going to do it in the backyard. But some kids were playing. I went <laughs> blasting off fucking magnums. Shit in the backyard. So uh, I got some other guns underneath there. Got a 10 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 22. And I got some magnums underneath. And... 45 yeah so this is the standard handguns i'll uh put the water jug i have some tape or something we'll just tape it up there see see how good this just actually works just fuck see what happens okay so i got a little bit of angle there i just took a couple test shots didn't do anything i just want to make sure nothing's gonna fly back and kill me so 22 and I'll just step up to nine millimeter right now. So this we just got the standard 119, I think it's 119 grain, full metal jacket. That was a good shot. All right, we'll go check that out. One thing nice about the the rubber like that, and it would keep the bullet from flying back but it didn't even I think I can I can see some of the bullets in there it didn't even like rock the the milk or the water jug at all that's what I mean like if you took your time you can cut mining belt pretty easy and then you can you can clean the edges up on these plates and they're pretty flexible but yeah so far so good so let's step it up to the 10 millimeter and next up we got a 10 millimeter this is a smith and wesson 1006 it's like one of my favorite it's one of my first handguns too 180 grain sig ammo sig sour okay <laughs> see you can definitely tell a 10 millimeter over a nine millimeter so we'll go check that out and i gotta dig my other guns out so i hit right there and nothing out the back. Then were just a couple drill holes I had there. But look, you can see it just fell out the bottom. Pretty warm yet. <laughs> so far, she's working great. Like I said, when John's here, we'll do rifles. We've got some big rifles, 50 BMG and all that stuff. We'll definitely penetrate it. This is just a handgun. So let me dig out a couple other guns. Okay, next up, we got the Ruger. P97, I do believe. I think this was my first handgun. So, I'll try to shoot right about... Let's see. There we go, right where I wanted it to. Still, this thing is not budget, man. Like, the, the bullets, they just fall right out the bottom. <laughs> I think I found a bunch of them over there already. So, yep, nothing yet. So let's step up to the magnums, I guess. 
All right, so next up we got a 357 mag. Where you at? I have no idea how many grains these are. I don't shoot 357 mag that much. Ah. Uh, oh, let's see here. I'll try to aim right about. I like this gun now. It's so awesome. Holds eight two, eight three fifty seven round mags, double action. Seen it had a hell of a lot more power, that's for sure. <laughs> Still nothing. <laughs> All right, so I can smell rubber burning. Oh yeah. So literally the only other magnum I have is a five hundred mag. So <laughs> let's see. Okay, it's time for the big hammer. This is the Smith & Wesson 500 mag. I'm using Underwood ammo. Uh, this is, look how good them bullets are. 350 fucking grains of fuck you power right there. They're beautiful hollow points. Focus. So, like I said, they're not extreme penetrators, not near this hollow point. You gonna kind of hide, I'm behind a rock here. I'm gonna try to, there we go. <laughs> Dude, that fireball. <laughs> See, I love that. love that gun, man. Great hit, too, right there. And she stopped it, man. All right, I'm going to try to dig some uh, bullets out of here. So I took the, the back piece off. I just had it taped on there because really my bolts weren't long enough. But you can tell just a little bulge man you know that's pretty good for a 500 mag you would be okay i mean you'd feel it but it really didn't rock it that bad so this is upside down i can't wish it when i get back to the garage i'll take it apart see if we can find that slug in there but it worked very very well for a 500 mag so obviously 223 probably go through it 308 i was but we'll test that out. So, yeah, let's get rid of this water jug here, I guess, right? Whew. Much that fucking flex. I mean, that's insane. So that's the whole theory behind this is just kind of resistance and like give but check this out i took the bolts out <laughs> it's 22 i think that's a 45 so i mean that stopped flat like you'd totally be okay if you had this in a plate carrier and then that must be it's probably the nine that was a 45 to do anything 10 maybe 357 She blew through there. Some more shrapnel. Oh yeah. Uh, pretty big. It has to be a 500 mag. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a 500 mag. 357's in there too. Yep, that's 357. But yeah, you'd be okay. Because it didn't even really move the water jug. We'll have to try it out on the mm, rifle rounds here. Ooh. 